I think uh, I just want to say a very good evening uh, as we start. And I want to welcome you to the closing ceremony of this very historical meeting that has been taking place in Kampala, Uganda. And uh, I want to welcome the Honorable Minister of Health from uh, Equatorial Guinea, who is with us here, and the President of the MIH Alliance, Professor Priz, and the International President, Professor Ibingira, who's right here. But I just want to say that we are going to take two minutes of, of, of your schedule as we fix one small thing which we've got to do. But you are all welcome to this ceremony. And for these two minutes, I want to invite the performing arts to give us one uh, slot of entertainment as we sort up the, uh, the two minutes um, and we work out the declaration. Thank you, performing arts.
Thank you very much, Performing Arts. Uh, dear participants, all the delegates who are here and everyone who has been part of this historical meeting, I want to welcome you to this clo closing ceremony, uh, which actually has led to the Kampala Declaration on COVID-19 Vaccine Equity. Uh, at the World Health Summit Regional Meeting, MHA Alliance, Kampala, Uganda. I'm excited that uh, uh, at the end of it, we still have very, very, very highly placed personnel in health. And uh, among these with us is uh, the Honorable Minister uh, of Health from Equatorial Guinea, and this is none other than Dr. Diosdado Vicente Nsue Milan. We are so happy to have you, Honorable Minister, as to keep all the time and then you stay with us. Uh, with us again is uh, uh, the president of the MH Alliance, 
and uh, he's been here from the start um, to the end because you know the Maita Alliance this is their baby and uh, he's been with us and we're so happy to have you Professor Priest Professor we're so happy to have you still at the end um, I want to say that the host in Uganda who has been actually representing us in this scientific uh, summary. This is none other than Professor Charles Iwinjira, the international president. He's also still with us. And uh, he's done a great job. It's not been easy. We've walked and along the way, it's not been easy. But what matters that by the end of it all, we have had it, a very successful meeting. And I think we have to thank you so much, Professor Vindura, for working so much and being a very good team leader to drive us up to the end where we've been able to have what we call a real successful meeting, which has led to the Kampala Declaration. Uh, as we continue here today, we also want to appreciate the government of Uganda because these are not normal times. You understand COVID has placed the security of health worldwide at its almost ex external end, if you can say, because people are not in charge, but the researchers have got to stay in charge and this is why we are here. So we thank the government of Uganda for letting this conference or summit take place as you've seen it. So our message goes straight and this will go through uh, our Minister of Health, Honorable Dr. Jen Ruth Achain. And I want to say she's already joined us as well because she'll be closing officially. She's on Zoom and she's joining us from the other side. So when time comes, we'll do that. Honorable Minister, you're welcome. Um, your MC tonight, I'm Dr. Muhammad Musoke Chibundu, and I've been chair uh, of the Publicity Committee. And uh, Ami Distas is the powerhouse, we call him Professor Tony Oyana. He's also here and he's been the chair of finance. He's that side, but though, um, I will welcome you as well. And Dr. Bruce, who is with us virtually, you know, he's got to attend to the different patients. Now allow me to go straight to the program as is, and I've been given the opportunity to read the Kampala Declaration. And here we go. Kampala Declaration on COVID-19 vaccine equity, World Health Summit Regional Meeting, MH Alliance, Kampala, Uganda, June 27 to 30th, 2021. The theme, no one is safe until all are safe. In appreciation as one, the ministers of health, the World Health Summit and Meta Alliance, medical practitioners, academia, researchers, and all the participants to the World Health Summit regional meeting deeply appreciated His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museven president of the Republic of Uganda and the government for graciously hosting the 11th World Health Summit regional meeting from 27th to 30th June, 2021 at Speak Resort Munyonyo, Kampala, Uganda. Two, cognizant that the COVID-19 pandemic has caused unprecedented public health social, economic, and security challenges, threatening the lives and livelihoods of billions of people. It has intensified inequalities worldwide, particularly regarding vaccine production and distribution. COVID-19 threatens the achievement of the sustainable development goals and the implementation of many healthy programs worldwide. Three, Reiterating that vaccine injustice is an existential challenge for global health today. It divides the world between those 
that have access to vaccines and those who do not. Four, recognizing that in Kampala, Uganda, the World Health Summit Eighth Regional Meeting under the auspices of the MH Alliance, a global network of pioneer academic institutions from all six continents of the world, convened leading actors in politics and experts from Africa and the world to fight for vaccine equity. The participants are the political leaders, international agencies and organizations, the civil society and industry to strive for more equity in vaccine production and distribution. Number five, emphasize, emphasize that despite efforts to increase delivery and access to COVID-19 vaccines through the COVAX mechanism, now focused particularly on low and middle income countries, LMICs, significant disparities are obvious. High income countries representing about 20% of the global adult population hold over half of the doses globally available. And that is almost 5 billion, enough to vaccinate twice their populations. In, in contrast, the LMICs are left behind, not allowing them to adequately protect their inhabitants. In many cases, not even those groups that have especially high risk. Six, stress that vaccines are a global public good and puts the life of many as well as the economy and security of the world at stake. It also increases the risk for the development of the more aggressive virus mutations and yet another pandemic vet. Well, there's no time to lose fast and effective measures are needed to tackle the present situation and to increase preparedness for the future. Seven, underlined the importance for fair and equitable access to vaccines as the key to ending the pandemic, restoring normal life and the economy and to preventing the unacceptable health gap to widen, to widen further. Eight, recognizing that at the historical World Health Regional Summit meeting 2021 in the Pearl of Africa, Uganda, the signatories of the Kampala Declaration on COVID-19 Vaccine Equity strongly advocate strategic partnership and effective cooperation at a regional, national, and global level for distributed production and access to vaccines according to medical need with a focus on low and middle income settings, the LMICs. Nine, cognition that this crisis reminds us to foster the spirit of collaboration, solidarity and cooperation, instead of practicing vaccine egoism and nationalism, we need to transform universal health coverage to also include universal health preparedness, prevention and universal health solidarity. We are all in this together. And this is going to be signed by His Excellency, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, and Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, Director General of the World Health Organization. And that will be coming out to you. And it will be also be signed by the Honorable Minister of Education, uh, Janet Kataha Museveni, Minister of Education and Sports and First Lady. And here it will be concluded by Honorable General Ruth Chain, the Minister of Health, Republic of Uganda. Honorable John Manguero, the Deputy Minister of Health, Republic of Zimbabwe. And His Excellency Diosdado Vicente Nsue Milan from the Republic, Minister of Health, Republic of Equatorial Guinea. For the World Health Summit, here we have Professor Axel Pries Radlach, the president of the MH Alliance, Professor Charles Ngindira, international president, Professor Detlef Brunton, founding president, and Professor Ilona Fixbush, the El Haji as CE Council Chairs. 
and for them, uh, that's for the MLI's MIT alliances. We also have Ali Jafariya, IR Iran delegate, and Amir Sin Tahian, also IR Iran delegate, and got Vin Kim Nguyen, Graduate Institute Geneva, from a Kerry University that is Professor Barnabas Nawangu, the Vice Chancellor. And that has been the declaration of the Kampala or the Kampala Accord. So we want to congratulate you and all our leaders with a very big applause. And uh, here we are now, we have the Kampala Accord and we're looking forward to the implementation of this, like it has been signed. Thank you very much. Now at this juncture, I don't want to waste any more minute, but I want to invite uh, Professor Charles Sivindra, that is to give his speech as the international president of the World Health Summit uh, Regional Meeting, Kampala, Uganda. Professor Sivindra, you're welcome. I don't know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, um, I'm gladly introducing Professor Ali, the founding chair, and this we've done tactically. Professor Ali, you are welcome and thanks for being here up to the end. Thank you, thank you so much. And this is tactful because you're the former chair and you're watching how it is moving. Uh, I, I also want to announce the presence and the arrival of the permanent secretary, Minister of Education, who's been our chair, National Organizing Committee, who's done a great job right from the beginning, at the opening and at the closure. Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Alex Kapos. <laughs> Professor Ivinger. Thank you very much, MC. Uh, Dr. Chigundu. Uh, good evening to you all present here at the uh, closing ceremony. I'm aware there are uh, people, participants uh, watching this ceremony online. I want to greet you all. My name again is uh, Professor Charles Sivindira, the international president of the World Health Summit and the Emirate Alliance. Honorable Minister of Health is our chief guest at this closing ceremony. The, in, uh, the President World Health Summit and Emirate Alliance, uh, the Minister of Health, uh, Republic of Equatorial Guinea, and Professor Ali Jafarian, the past international president of the World Health Summit and Emirate Alliance. Allow me also recognize the permanent secretary, Minister of Education, Mr. Alex Kakoza. May I humbly request you to stand and we acknowledge your presence, sir. Mr. Kakoza. Would you stand and we applaud you? Mr. Alex Kakuza, I'm requesting that you stand and we applaud you. I've been reliably informed that uh, he's off a little while, but, but I'm also learning that, uh, but I'm also learning that uh, 
the Honorable Minister of Zimbabwe, Minister of Health is, is, is here. Honorable Minister from Zimbabwe is, is here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Honorable Minister, uh, we're begging for any diagnosis to move forward to the platform and join this side. Honorable Minister. Thank you, MC, for, uh, for that. So, uh, Honorable Minister, uh, I must say I'm extremely and extremely delighted to reach uh, this day, the closing ceremony of this great meeting. When I was taking on power, maybe before that, when I was bidding for hosting this meeting, the Past inter, uh, the past uh, president of the World Health Summit, Professor Ganten, put me aside and said, really, are you going to host this meeting? Will you manage? And I instead, I said, we had the capacity and would host this meeting. But I could see a lot of doubt and God forbid, but for me, I insisted, presented my bid, and finally the M8 Alliance Assembly allowed us to host. When I was taking swearing in in Berlin, uh, this looked a very, very uphill task. I had been to Iran and I had seen how uh, Ali Jafarian and the team had worked. And deep in my heart, uh, there was a lot of uh, fear. But remember, fear is also very important. It makes you split a lot of adrenaline and makes you ready to fight and carry on. So. I want to thank God for this, for reaching this far. And I'm extremely delighted that this meeting has been extremely productive. I stand to be corrected, but I think the strides arrived at at this Kampala meeting may be greater than any other strides arrived at in other, the, the last six, seven uh, regional uh, meetings. I would like to say this meeting was able to host a high political engagement chaired by the, uh, rather between uh, the president of the Republic of Uganda and the director of World Health Organization. I haven't seen this happen anywhere. And I want to say we are the Mate Alliance, we are proud of that. But in addition, there was great exchange of scientific knowledge, particularly on COVID-19. I'm sure the world is better informed about uh, COVID-19 at the current state, because we shared most of the recent research findings. We also came up with a declaration which has just been read. I think this declaration, we should push it and make sure it creates adequate advocacy and we are looking forward to seeing uh, reconsideration and equitable distribution of 
vaccines even to the poorer nations and poorer people. Also, we had a, a number of high level meetings going on, high level networking. Uh, we also had a great, we, ha we, we had signing official signing of a memorandum of, and of, of understanding between Makere University College of Health Sciences and the Charité Medical School. I've also been pushing this since 2018. I'm really happy that it's happened during my time. Also, I am. Uh, I will make sure we come up with conference, a conference or summit report and proceedings which should be published and shared. And this will be remarkable history. COVID-19 has very many bad things, but it has taught us very many lessons. Makere University had awarded, the German has actually did award the German chancellor a degree, an honorary doctorate of science. All things had been made ready for her to come and receive this doctorate. However, because of COVID-19 and the turbulence now in the world, because of COVID-19, she could not. But I would like to inform you, uh, President of the World Health Summit that Makerele University Council awarded that degree and is ready to confer it to the chancellor even when she has left. So we shall be waiting for her to come to Uganda and be awarded because we appreciate the great contribution she has done for Africa. The lots of money German contributes. I remember in 2019, uh, the Republic of Germany had contributed over uh, more than four billions of dollars towards Gavi. And Gavi is the one which gives vaccines to the developing world. And therefore we have benefited. But there are many other reasons why Makere University gave that award. And so it is still standing. Uh, I thought it would happen during my time, but I'm happy that the university recognized uh, the German chancellor. Uh, also, in this meeting, I think it has been proved that science has no borders, has no restrictions, that at the height of great lockdown in this country, government can actually accept and allow science to hold this meeting. It means that science is, has no limitation. And this has been uh, one of the driving factors of the M8 Alliance. For us scientists, we should be allowed to do whatever we want to do, irrespective of political and other interferences, political, economic, science should continue. And it should continue at all times because we have to find solutions for world problems. So I'm really happy that all this has uh, happened. Also, I would like to assure the nation here that uh, this meeting was carried under strict uh, standard operating procedures as prescribed by the Minister of Health. All the participants were tested, PCR negative. All the SOPs were observed, social distancing, 
uh, hand sanitization, putting on masks. I've not seen people who are here and not putting on masks, but also limiting the attendance uh, physically. And as I promised, uh, the attendance has been small numbers as is expected. So I want to thank all the participants for observing these uh, standard operating procedures uh, and participating uh, virtually and a few physically. I will end my remarks by expressing my deep uh, uh, appreciation. And usually thanking people is difficult. I want to give a disclaimer that in case I forget somebody who has played a very big role, you know that I'm deeply thankful in my heart, but I may forget. Uh, as you know, uh, it has taken a long time and I may forget, but I will begin by thanking the government of Uganda uh, when I brought this uh, uh, idea and went to government, and uh, Mr. President, I must say, me, I'm a, a simple, small man, and I'm not a enemy of power, but I'm a scientist. And the government had my call, and they believed in me, and they supported my bid. And that's how this meeting came here. Because if I hadn't got government support, would never host this meeting. So I'm so grateful to our government. Uh, the then Prime Minister of Health, Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda, gave uh, extreme support. And he called the first uh, NOC meeting, National Organizing Committee meeting. Uh, the Minister of Education and Health uh, chaired these meetings and we've been meeting since 2020 to date. And here I want to appreciate the Permanent Secretary Minister of Education for really being there. Now, all this uh, could not have happened without the full support of the Minister of Education. And you people, I beg that we clap for her. Because for me, I will not reach the president, but uh, I would reach the PS Minister of Education and she would deliver my message. And that's how I secured the permission and everything to drive this meeting. So I'm so indebted to her. I have nothing to offer, but I appreciate on behalf of the MA Alliance, on behalf of the World Health Summit, and on behalf of Macquarie University and the team I was working with. I also want to appreciate the embassies in Uganda, especially the EU embassies, which supported the bid. And here I will single out the German embassy and they went ahead to support us until this summit. But also, there are a number of other organizations who gave me letters of support. I want to thank you. I will not uh, mention each one of them, I, but I will write to them to thank them at the end of this. Also want to thank Macquarie University. At that time, I had power, I was a principal, but still the vice chancellor would have said, no, you can't, you can't put us in this. But the vice chancellor supported. We worked together. And even when my term had ended, he still entrusted me with the authority to organize the meeting. And I thank the university for that, my college for the support. All the people who have been working here come from the university and the College of Health Sciences. 
And I thank you so much. I also want to, serve, to thank the Infectious Disease Institute. The initial meetings, Infectious Disease Institute made a lot of contribution. And even on funding, when it gave us money, everybody said we should give money to support. I also want to thank the World Health Summit uh, for this financial support. They don't usually support regional meetings, but we get, got substantial funding to start of this meeting from the World Health Summit. And I appreciate you for that. Thank you. I want also to thank the World Health Summit Secretariat. We've been moving together. They came here in 20, 2020 before COVID in January to see whether we were ready and they were happy. Soon after they had left, COVID came in. But we have been holding meetings every week and they have been giving us guidance. And they are the ones who hosted us the Zoom meetings, all the Zoom meetings. Yes, we had our input and I appreciate all our technical team as far as IT is concerned, but we had a backbone at Berlin, which made everything successful. Some of them failed to come because they had to uh, give that input. I want to thank our funders. They are all listed here, but I will single out, uh, of course, uh, those on top, I've already thanked them. World Health Organization also supported us. We got funding from Siemens, from FDFA, from Draga. This is a company uh, making medical equipment. They are even here to exhibit. I'm sure all of us benefited from their masks. And I want to appreciate them. Let's give them a clap because for them, they decided to come. And the whole of that list, they supported us. Plus all the people who paid money for, for registration online uh, for physical, but the meeting ended up being online and they couldn't come. I appreciate them so much. I want to thank the speakers. We had 230 high level speakers. Some were chairs of the meetings, some gave keynote addresses, some were panelists. They really did a great job and put the profile of this meeting very high. Let me also thank the participants, the physical and the virtual participants. I will now turn to the committees. As we began, we had a few committees Scientific committee chaired by Dr. Bruce Chirenga, he had a team. This committee has been great. Coming up with this program, getting the profiles of all speakers, it's not an easy job. And he had his team working with it. I'm very grateful. Publicity headed by Dr. Chikundu, thank you so much. Of course, the COVID problem had a lot of interference, we would have got a bigger attendance, but each time we wanted to do something, there were restrictions. But I'm happy that we managed to reach out to the world for them to know that we do exist. You and your team, I'm very grateful. Uh, we had uh, the finance committee, Professor Yana, You've been called the powerhouse. Could you stand for recognition? This is a man from the, a wise man from the East. Did a great job. Keeping the money that we were given. And I want to say we shall provide all accountability, full accountability. No money was misused. All the money was put, they used, for which it was given and he made sure. So thank you very much. I'm sure everything went as planned. 
we were able to convince government which supported us in a special way and Professor Yana was behind all that. Thank you very, very much. Uh, you proved you are a great man from the East. I'll turn to our secretariat. Hanif Abukirwa, this is a, this lady has done a great job. She came on board not long ago, but I want to thank you. I know you have shed many tears, but the, now they are tears of joy. So well done and your team. Well done and well done. Thank you very much. We had another team which organized the students meeting uh, headed by Dr. Twina Masko. I don't know whether he's around, but they also worked with Bokirwa. Thank you very much. Now, the National Organizing Committee. We had a great team of, for protocol. I don't know whether they are here. We had the local committees, but the National Organizing Committee. Protocol was necessary to make sure all of you are well received in your respective uh, honors. And they did a great job. We had transport also from government and the government took care of that. We had the accreditation committee. Government had to accredit all the people here to make sure that nobody comes here when he's sick, infects us. To make sure that no intruder comes here. We had security everywhere. This place is highly secured. And everywhere, even up to, until you board the airplane, even in that space, you'll be secure. So until you leave Uganda space. So all those government committees, uh, there was accommodation and tourism. They did a great job. They had to check this hotel to make sure that it is suitable for these numbers. So I really want to thank all those. Ministry of Internal Affairs, they really pledged to make sure whoever wants to come, the issue of passports is easy. I hope that happened. We also had a secretariat at the Ministry of Education. They did a great job in coordinating the National Organizing Committee. And here I want to thank Cosmas. Professor Yan, I hope you think about Cosmas. He did a great job. And lastly, I want to thank the service providers. Uh, they gave us conference materials. The media center helped us to publicize uh, the hotel, the media, our dancers. That music is very good. Thank you, although because of COVID, we couldn't see all your styles. I knew we'd dance for our guests, but maybe another time. We also had uh, photographers. We had uh, all the other service providers. I want to thank specifically the hotel. Uh, thank you for providing a, an excellent environment for this meeting to happen. I'm sure you have also learned a lot from this. Ladies and gentlemen, I must say this meeting has been a success. The World Health Summit held in Berlin in October uh, last year had an attendance of 6,000 participants. The regional meetings I've attended would not exceed, I think the one in Iran had about 7,700. The one in uh, Portugal had about 500. Uh, those are the ones I have attended. Uh, but this meeting has had great attendance. 
when you look at the analytics of our virtual uh, platform, we had 5,010 users. We had 4,859 users. The session attendance was at 7,211. And 68% uh, of those were English speakers. Page reviews were at 19,152. So I would like to say that this meeting was highly successful. And I thank you very, very much. At this juncture, let me inform you that the next World Health Summit regional meeting will take place in Italy. It will be hosted by the University of Sapienza in Rome. And Makerere uh, will be represented there. But in October this year, the, the World Health Summit regional meeting for next year will happen in June. Uh, we shall give you, you can always go to the World Health Summit region or World Health Summit website and you'll find this information. And in October, we have the World Health Summit uh, in Berlin. You should also uh, ensure that you participate and attend. And therefore, with those uh, few words, I would like to also appreciate my family because I've been away, I've had sleepless nights, I've had worries, but my wife kept praying for me. So I would like to appreciate her for the support. Otherwise I would have rambled and I would have given up. But she kept saying, you must do it, you must continue you must continue, you don't give up. And I thank her so much for her resilience, which I also share. Lastly, I want to thank you, our dear honorable ministers. We had invited all ministers of health on the African continent. And you, manage to brave and come. So we are so indebted to you. I'm not a minister of health, but if there was anything I could do, if you need our participation, we shall do it. Uh, I'm sure the minister of health has seen this and uh, uh, she knows what it means. So my president, thank you very much for not, for deciding to come because one or two days before he wrote to me and said, I hear a lot of things online, should I come? I wrote to him and said, you must come. And so he wrote back and said, since you want me to come, I will. So thank you so, so much for coming. I am so indebted to you. You have shown the M8 Alliance solidarity, and that should always be there. Thank you so much. I say this as we build for the future and for God and my country. But also, let me ask my colleague, uh, uh, Professor Ali Jafarian. Uh, He's my predecessor, and he gave me the power, the reins of power. I give you a few minutes to say a few words, and I request you to invite the president to, to say a few words. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, honorable ministers, 
Dr. Paris, the president of the AMIT Alliance and WHS. Let me first explain what I mean in casual attire, because we are going to the airport directly from the ceremony or even in the middle of it. So we did it, I have to pack everything. And uh, I just want to say uh, a great thanks to everybody here, especially those who are behind the scene, uh, the great team of Makara University, uh, under the leadership of Charles, uh, they, you did a great job with, in this such uh, uh, situation that all of us know is not a usual situation. And there are a lot of uh, concerns and a lot of uh, issues that should be handled to have the meeting. And as the uh, only member of the M8 Alliance that uh, attended here physically, uh, me and my colleague Amir from Iran, I would uh, like to uh, appreciate uh, whatever you did. And I would like to, uh, uh, that was fantastic to see the Uganda, a very beautiful country here in the Africa. And for us, it was very joyful. And uh, the meeting and the sessions uh, with, with the problems that usually are there when we are uh, depending on the technology and the everything else uh, related to technology, uh, you did a great job, and I just want to thank all of you and Charles as the former international president of WHS and hope to, uh, for, the, for the whole world uh, to be with each other and close to each other and return to normal life with the control of uh, coronavirus. And I hope that the Kampala declaration would help everybody, would help the world and especially the South to get enough vaccine to control the disease and for the people to have a better life. Thank you very much. Now, I want to ask uh, uh, Dr. Axel Paris, who is our uh, new president in M8 Alliance and WHS. Uh, most of uh, those who have been in M8 Alliance knows him very well, but uh, now he is uh, our president after Dr. Detlev is retired. And uh, we are sure that he would be a great leader in continuing what the WHS has been done uh, with the, the motto of science has no border. And now uh, the floor is uh, yours, Dr. Axel. Yeah, this is a very special evening, I must say. It's a historic evening. It's an enchanting evening. And I think I will never forget it. And uh, that may be similar to some other people here. So why is it so special? Um, it's special because we are here in the heart of Africa. For the first time we are in Africa, uh, we should come much more often and learn and interact and discuss and exchange views. And I think that was already very obvious at the opening ceremony where your president discussed with Tedros, the uh, leader of the WHO. And I learned a lot. And I think when this led here to the declaration, to the Kampala declaration, asking or urging or pressing for more vaccine equity, vaccine distribution, vaccine production, and if I interpret your president right, also vaccine development equity, then this conference has already had a very major impact on the future of global health. So I very much hope that we get this declaration out very soon, very united, very powerful. And this was only possible because Charles brought it here. So um, this is the science part, if you wish, but there's also the kind of emotional part. And Ali said that um, not so long ago, that Lev Ganten would have stood here. He pressed for this worldwide friendship and cooperation. And I'm really indebted to his work 
um, I always say his shoes are so big that I could use them as a boat. So I have to live up to his standards, which is not easy, but we all have our idols we strive for. And uh, one of my idols is obviously now Charles because he was fighting the most adverse conditions with respect to staging such a conference. Now I know it was his wife who, who uh, put him up, uh, <laughs> but I have a very little, very little uh, token of uh, gratitude for him. And uh, um, I will give also thanks to his team later on. If you look there, the bags, which I had to bring through, through the customs. Um, but, but this must go first. And it's a gift from, from Berlin. It's a beer because a beer is the uh, Berlin um, animal, if you wish. But um, here you might say the lion is the strongest animal, but the beer is also very, very strong, very determined. And um, so I think it's a sign of the work you did. And if I see the colors, it could even be African or Ugandan colors. It's very colorful and I hope you like it. I can't give you the hands, but, but I give you the beer. Thank you. So this was really a fantastic job. And obviously it comes in the World Health Summit bag. <laughs> okay, so uh, I don't want to make too many words here because uh, Charles alluded to so many aspects of it. But just to, to sum up the relevance for me, it, it really um, is encapsulated in our declaration because that's a pressing topic right now, but it is it will extend much longer than the actual COVID crisis because we hope to manage the COVID crisis as soon as possible. But the life after the COVID crisis, crisis should be different from the life before in a way that we have learned that only together we can create a good living on Earth and we, we need this international cooperation and, and friendship. And whether you learn to strengthen your own power to survive, or whether you learn to share your power with other partners on the world, both are very good lessons from the COVID crisis, and these lessons have been strengthened here in Kampala. And uh, with that, I, I express my sincere thanks for all the work the team did here, um, headed by Charles to stage a wonderful conference, wonderful in terms of science, in terms of friendship, and impressions. So with that, I give my very big thanks to Charles. If we don't have any program to follow, then we follow up with our um, gift Ceremony. Um, yeah, so we we now come here. So <laughs> we have a few gifts to uh, to the people of your team, and you have to read the names. And I hope we don't make a mistake. Uh, Charles said we it's it's easy to forget people. So if we forget someone, um, it's. Uh, not because we didn't want to 
um, thank them. It's just because we we were probably too negligent to to remember the proper name. So you have to help me. Who's next? Okay, so first, since Charles already got his gift, we have Professor Tony Oyana. Thank you. Next, we have Dr. Bruce Chiringa. Okay, so for those who are not here, we will keep the gifts and Charles will deliver them later on. Okay, thank you. Then next we have Dr. Chigundu. <laughs> So I hope you get the right size. That's that's a Berlin um, bademantel. What's that in English? Um, yeah, a bathrobe. Bademantel. <laughs> you will find out. <laughs> Hanifa, please. <laughs> So it's not as nice as your dress, but it comes from the heart. <laughs> Thank you. Davidson, if you're around. Yeah. You showed us this. So this is the charity t-shirt. We have it in different sizes. You can swap afterwards if we give you the wrong one, the wrong color or the wrong size. Dorothy, please. <laughs> Then we have Peruth. If it doesn't fit, you will exchange it. We, we have different sizes. Thanks. And Mary. I hope you like it. Thank you. Then next we have Janet. Then we have Lynn. Next up is Tom.
Next up is Alex, but I'm not sure if he's around. So someone is Alex around? No. Okay, then next up is Jasper. <laughs> Okay, and last but not least, we have Godfrey Mayende from IT. Without IT, everything is nothing. <laughs> and uh, can you join me and give a very Big clap for the generosity that has been demonstrated by <laughs> Professor Priest. Uh, on behalf of everyone here now, we want to say, Wir sind sehr glücklich und vielen Dank. I won't make many other additions because when you're happy, you get to say a few words, rather, or rest, you make a mistake. Uh, thank you so much for that generosity. And actually, you've demonstrated life is life and it's for all. Thank you so much. Uh, now we are going to finish this part of the uh, awarding. And uh, I want to ask the secretary to get ready with, this, with the certificates, which have got to be awarded. And uh, this function is going to be performed by again, the international president and uh, president um, Priest MH Alliance. I welcome you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Chigundu. As we continue in the mood of uh, the declaration, for me, I have a feeling that life cannot be good unless it is shared and uh, you see what is happening many countries are now putting blockades not to go to their countries because we can't access vaccines but we need to share the life if it has to be good Anipa Bukirua, where are you please hurry Anifa. Um, uh, we want again to thank the Minister of Health, Honorable Ruth Cheng. She's been patiently watching and she's on live because she's waiting to close this ceremony officially. Honorable Ruth, thank you very much. We are here still sharing with you. Uh, the first award of recognition 
goes to Right Honorable Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda. In appreciation for outstanding dedication and service to the World Health Summit Regional Meeting, Africa 2021. Um, protocol will take care of this and uh, we are saying the first award goes to right honorable dr rohakana rugunda and it's in appreciation of outstanding dedication and service and this comes from world health summit regional meeting africa 2021 and i give it now to the two presidents to give it protocol and uh, uh we have here uh mr mugimbaji who's going to deliver this the second one goes to mr julian keith bush in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as uh, Program Director, World Health Summit, Regional Meeting, Africa, 2021. In the Government of Uganda and MH Alliance. Yeah. I think Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> thank you. And now this one goes to is awarded to Honorable Dr. Jen Ruth Cheng, Minister of Health. In appreciation for outstanding dedication and service, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa 2021. Thank you. Protocol again. Oui. And uh, this one goes to a word of recognition to Professor Axel Radlach, please. In appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as president MIT Alliance, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa 2021. So it goes to him, President gives to the President now. Congratulations. Uh, and this one goes to uh, Ms. Petra Nizel in appreciation of outstanding dedication and services. Program Director, World Health Summit, Regional Meeting Africa, 2021. Joachim, please. And now this one goes to uh, Professor Tony Oyana in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service. As Chair, World Health Summit, Regional Meeting Africa, 2020-2021, Mr. Powerhouse. A wise man from the East here. Uh, and this one is another word of recognition going to Professor Francis Omaswa in appreciation of outstanding dedication and services Scientific Committee World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa 2020 to 2021. Now this will be delivered by Professor Charles Evinjida. Mary, Mary. Mary, come for this please. And uh, this one goes to Dr. Bruce Chirenga in appreciation for outstanding dedication and services chair yeah, scientific committee world health summit regional meeting africa 
2020 to 2021. Thank you. Stay here for this event. MC, I want to say thank you. Uh, Dr. Bruce, you're online and we thank you so much because you've been behind this and uh, you are research on COVID. Here you are, even if you're online, awarded this appreciation and recognition. And here we are, the two presidents are handing it over to Jasper, who's going to deliver it to you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bruce. Uh, and this one goes to none other than Professor Charles Ivindira, the international president who is right here. And now they are exchanging sides because he's going to be awarded and Pro Professor Priest is taking this side of the awarding. So Professor Charles Ivindira, an appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as international president, World Health Summit, Regional Meeting Africa, 2020-2021. Congratulations, yeah, congratulations so much. A very big applause now. Mr. President, thank you. Uh, and now this one now goes, another word of recognition goes to our Honorable Minister of Education who has made it possible. And it goes to Honorable Janet Gataha Museveni Minister of Education and Sports, in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa 2021. And I think Protoc has got to come and take care of this. Uh, this one goes to the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education, Mr. Alex Kakosa, in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as Chair, National Organizing Committee, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa, 2020-2021. Congratulations, Mr. Alex. And another one goes to Professor Nelson Sewankambo in appreciation for outstanding dedication. I know you're online and service. A scientific Committee World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa 2020-2021. Congratulations. Uh, now this goes to yet another very important person who's done a great job coordinating us, linking us to the headquarters. And it goes to MS Tihota, I don't know if I've read it rightly, a leader in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as program director World Health Summit Regional Meeting. Thank you so much, Alida. Thanks, thank you, endlessly. And now this one goes to the co-host because this was organized by the government of Uganda with Makere University. And now this one goes to Professor Banabas Nawangwe, Vice Chancellor in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service World his Summit Regional Meeting Africa 2021. Professor, uh, Professor Evindira will take care of this. Congratulations, Professor Banabas, I know you're online. Dr. Jung Heldman, this goes to Dr. Jung Heldman in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as Managing Director, World Health Summit, Regional Meeting Africa 2021. And now this certificate goes to Mr. Rugon's Rugongeza, Rugongeza Godfrey, in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as chair, Transport Subcommittee, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa, Kampala, Uganda. Rugongeza. 
This one is a certificate of recognition to Dr. Jasper Nidoi in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as scientific fellow, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa, Kampala, Uganda. Uh, this certificate of recognition goes to Dr. Muhammad Chigundu Musoke in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as chair of publicity World Health Summit. This one goes to Dr. Alice Kayongo in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as scientific fellow, World Health Summit, Regional Meeting Africa. Thank you very much. Miss Lin Tukahewa in appreciation for outstanding dedication as in turn, World Health Summit, Regional Meeting Africa, Kampala, Uganda, 2020-2021. This one goes to Mr. Robert Mujimba in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as chair, protocol, and invitation subcommittee, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa. This one goes to Ms. Hidaya Mirunji in appreciation of outstanding dedication and service as chair, accreditation subcommittee. This one goes to Jimba. Professor Sarah Sully in appreciation of outstanding dedication and service as communication officer Jimba. subcommittee. Jimba. And this Sarah one goes Sally. to Mr. Anduga Bob Patrick in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as Sarah transport Sally. and logistic World Health Regional Committee. Uh, this one goes to Mr. Mujuka Benon in appreciation of outstanding dedication and service as transport and logistics. Ms. Hanifa Bukirwa Nabukialo in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as Secretary Director, World Health Summit Regional Meeting, Africa, Kampala, Uganda, 2020-2021. And this one goes to Rosemary Kobtag in appreciation for standing the education services chair accommodation subcommittee. Mr. Wagubi Cosmas, Secretary Knox subcommittee. Cosmas, who can reach Cosmas? To you, Mr. President. SCPC Jesse Arinaitwe, Chair of Security Subcommittee. Mr. Mujimba, SCP Arinaitwe. Uh, Ms. Ainem Baba Zikaru, in our appreciation for outstanding education service as program assistant. Mr. Tom Eloana. In appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as accountant. Uh, Ms. Dorothy Ankunda, in appreciation for outstanding dedication and service as program assistant. Uh, Ms. Mary Gezaho, program assistant. Uh, Ms. Janet Namutebi. Uh, website manager, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa, Kampala 2020 uh, Mr. Davidson in Diavahika, in appreciation of standing dedication and service as communications officer, World Health Summit Regional Meeting Africa, Kampala Uganda.
We want to thank you so much and uh, those who have organized to those the recipients of these awards, congratulations. And we want to thank the organizers for thinking about the uh, those people for a job well done. Thank you so much. And uh, now we want to Uh, thank you very much. Um, and all our viewers virtually, because this is the greatest conference ever to have the biggest participants. And you had here the breakdown over 7,000. And when you make the breakdown, it is over 150. And uh, I would just want to congratulate the organizers and those respecting issues of health. Like we want to thank McKay University Council and management as well for being there and the College of Health Science. I want now to move to the program fast enough so that we can end the day. But before that, I want to announce Honorable Deputy Minister of Health of Zimbabwe, Dr. John Chamnorwa Mangwero. Dr. John, people are happy to see you and please see you again. Rise up and people can see you. Thank you so much, Dr. Jay. Uh, now at this juncture, I want to invite uh, the Minister of Health from Equatorial Guinea, Dr. Diosdados Vicente Nsue Milang to come and give his remarks. And I think because he has the Minister from Zimbabwe to make the comment. And thereafter, we'll be inviting Dr. Honorable Jane Ruth Ocheng, the Minister of Health, to close. Dr. Diostado Vicente, you're welcome. Honorable Minister from Zimbabwe, present here. Honorable Ministers following us telematically. Honorable President of the World Health Summit, regional meeting, and the, the, the one from Berlin. Honorable professors, directors, everybody who participated actively in the preparation of this uh, very successful meeting. All protocols observed. I am happy that uh, the World Health Summit has thought to invite the ministers of health, because uh, as I've realized, this is a scientific meeting and uh, you are the people who produce, the people that we use in order to implement health policies in, in the African region. Without the human resources that you produce for us, we cannot elaborate and implement health policies in our region, which are concerted, which are coordinated and effective. One of the examples is the, the pandemic. We cannot control the pandemic in Africa by the strategy of one country. We should share with the strategies, the common strategies <clears throat> that are being elaborated by meetings like this one here, by scientists, 
when I heard first about the, the herd, herd immune immunity, I said, well, herd immunity, maybe you can have it in, in, in one country. But with the COVID-19 pandemic, and uh, with the Kampala Declaration that uh, I've just read, the herd immunity should be worldwide, should be equal. If people from the African continent are still having the virus, we'll, sit, we'll take it to Europe, we'll take it to America with the globalization, which means that we are all in one herd. We are all good from one herd. So if we don't have, have common strategies, we'll not be able to, to fight the, the pandemic successfully. That's why in this meeting, first of all, I appreciate it very much the, the, the speech pronounced by His Excellency Museveni and at the opening ceremony, where he said that uh, there is injustice because if you do so have, don't share the vaccine with us, the pandemic will not end. We still take it back to them. So they should, they should think about it. And that ourselves as African countries we should also do something in order not to depend on the people. I congratulate the, the Ugandan scientific community and of course the government who is supporting them for the vaccine initiative. I think it's something that African countries we should encourage. I will take the, the message back to my government that uh, Uganda is developing a vaccine to see as a solidarity, African solidarity, how we can support the, the, the initiative. Again, I will convey to my people the Kampala Declaration. It starts with one word and it ends with the same word. No one is safe until all are safe. And it ends that we are all in this together. I think this is the conclusion, which means that uh, really, if there is no solidarity, among the have and have not, will not solve this global problem. So thank you very much. I've learned a lot. I shared the experience of uh, other countries. I shared the experience of my colleague from Zimbabwe. I held the, the, the experience of the human resources among the themes that were dealt with uh, this morning. This is very important. I'm also happy that uh, among the participants, we had the, the civil society, the private sector, the industry. So all of them, all of us together, uh, we speak as one voice, we make effort, united effort, but uh, uh, I want to speak Spanish, <laughs> for, for developing strategies and vaccines and uh, whatever we can, so that we can fight this pandemic. It has destabilized us, it has destabilized our economy, it has destabilized our health uh, programs. I, I spoke this morning about the strengthening of the digital health system, which is uh, it's not an innovation, but I think it's some, something that are proven to be very effective. I said this morning that uh, we didn't have problem to vaccinate people, but we had problem in 
having the vaccine because the structure was already there. The structures are already there was for polio vaccine for all that. So this is what we are going to use. So, uh, but the vaccination of against poliomyelitis, although we usually say that with COVID, we should also do the other health system problem uh, uh, strategies like NCD, non communicable diseases. We have not been able to address these issues because we have been distracted by the COVID pandemic. So thank you very much, really, for all the efforts that have been made. We are going to use all these policies that are going to be developed, the scientists that we are going to, to train more, the vaccine that we are going to produce. We, African politicians, the, the ministers of health that uh, implement uh, health policies, will be very, very grateful for the outcomes of this summit. Thank you very much. Professors, thank you all the participants. Thank you everybody that contributed to the success of this meeting. Thank you very much. Uh, gracias. Gracias, Mr. Honorable Minister. So you've had the remarks from the Honorable Minister of Health from Equatorial Guinea. And uh, thank you very much for being part of this historical meeting and the Kampala Accord, which you actually accord to. And we are saying gracias. Uh, I want to inform our virtual participants that you will be getting your certificates on, via emails. And we want to thank you so much for being there. And please continue uh, respecting the new normal. And that's the virtual way of reaching out to people. Uh, ministers around and professors here and presidents, now it's time for me to take this opportunity to invite the Honorable Minister of Health from Uganda, who is the host, and this is Honorable Dr. Jen Ruther Ching, to come and we'll make her remarks and officially close this international summit. Honorable Doth, Dr. Jane Ruther Cheng. Uh, Thank you very much, Chair of the session. I do hope I can be heard. Thank you. You are loud and clear. And, the Honorable uh, Minister of Health of Equatorial Guinea, the Honorable Minister of Health from Zimbabwe, the President of the World Health Summit and M8 Alliance, Professor Ibi Njira, the International President, and Professor Jafarian, the Iranian M8 Alliance member. All our participants who are logged in online, good evening to you all. It has been uh, quite a while um, and I don't want to stand in between you and Dean. Allow me to start by congratulating Makere University upon a very, very successful regional summit and also to congratulate Uganda upon hosting this summit during this very difficult time of the pandemic. I must say it was well organized and it has ended very well. We are extremely grateful that you observed the standard operating procedures to the dot. 
Allow me also to appreciate the Ministry of Education under the leadership of the First Lady and the Minister for Education for ensuring that this summit does take place. We all recall that the summit was supposed to be hosted last year, but we could not do it because of the pandemic. But in spite of the pandemic, we have had opportunity to host it this year. Allow me in a special way to appreciate the president of the M8 Alliance and all members, and to congratulate you on the Kampala Declaration on Vaccines. Definitely that is the hallmark of this meeting. And I know for sure it will go a long way in airing out our voices to the entire world about the inequities surrounding vaccines and vaccine distribution, especially to countries in Africa. We are all aware that less than 1.5% of persons on the African continent have been vaccinated. And yet in other countries, they are approaching 50% of their populations. We all need to open our economies. We are all looking forward to the entire globe going back to normal activities. We are all looking forward to being able to interact with one another and have our social lives back. And if it depends on vaccines, then it is extremely important that there is equity in vaccine distribution. That does not mean that Africa should only focus on what the Western world can provide. It is definitely time for Africa to ramp up production of vaccines and also stand up to the challenge, whether it is through technology transfer or through initiation of their own vaccines. Africa did quite well regarding personal protective equipment and other drugs during this pandemic. So it is still possible again for Africa to stand up to the challenge. I want to appreciate the summit for the scientific knowledge that has been shared. It will definitely go a long way in informing most of our responses in many areas. We all must recall that we still have a duty towards universal health coverage. And even in this era of COVID-19, we must remember that our populations are looking up to us to ensure that we not only prevent the preventable diseases, but we are up to the challenge in treating those that need to be treated. We still have a duty towards the sustainable development goals. And I know that there was a lot of discussions regarding this issue. Allow me to appreciate our guests who traveled from very far to be with us, even during this difficult time. It is my hope that you will get back home safe and sound. Allow me also to appreciate the Ugandans who are able to attend the meeting, including the organizing committees and our scientists. I cannot forget to thank you for the award that I received. Although in absentia, I did receive it virtually and I deeply appreciate the award and the recognition. 
A special appreciation goes to the president of the summit for recognizing the ability of Uganda to adjust and host this summit during this difficult time. It is now my honor and pleasure to declare this meeting officially closed and to wish all of you a very, very lovely evening. God bless. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister. And uh, she's with us. Thank you. You've con concluded so well. And now we hope the Kampala Accord works and provides a solution to health and we all get back on the run because everything is on a halt. We want to thank you so much for participating and for being resilient and staying up to the end. We want to thank you so much. We thank the government of Uganda, our sponsors, who are many, those who actually uh, participated in the exhibition and uh, uh, Macquarie University Vice Chancellor, your management, and uh, the University Council, the professors from across the globe. We want to thank all the global participants who've been logged in here because it's, it's with you that uh, things can be able to be done. Now, the synergies of the researchers will actually liberate us from this monster. Thank you very much. And here we end. Thank you all. And uh, meet, for those who are going to meet, next year at the University of Spienza in Italy. Thank you. Thank you all. And bye-bye. Uh, now, I want us to rise up to the national anthems that are going to be performed by the Performing Arts from Makere University. I've been Dr. Muhammad Musoke Chigundu, your MC, <coughs> and uh, we'll always be there. I thank you so much for the opportunity, and we thank Professor Ivinjira for making this happen because he's been moving every day. Now, Performing Arts.
Thank you so much for filming us. Thank you, thank you. Safe travels, safe flights. For our guests, we're going to fly out of the country. And those on the roads have the best on the roads. And thank you all. Secretariat, thank you so much for enduring. So now, for now, bye for now, until Italy.